Hi, Paul here with another quick tip. Today I want to talk to you about PFLing. So most people understand PFLing to mean pre-fade listen, which is a very important feature because you want to be able to listen to a channel before you bring up that fader level into the mix. So a really crucial feature. But did you know that PFL can also stand for post-fade listen, which allows you to listen to the channel post fader increase. It's got many uses, but let me show you how to do this. Um, we all know that on an 8 series it's very simple to PFL a channel. You just move the toggle to one side or the other. And really simple. So how do I configure this to be pre or post fade? Well, let's take a look. If we come into my channel setup menu, I have something here called PFL mode. It's currently set to auto. Come back to that in a minute. Now you can set it such that toggle switch always pre-fades, pre-fade listens before the fader is turned up, or it can be set to monitor the post-fade. Um, now there's also a feature here called auto, which makes the PFL dependent on how you have routed that, ch um, that channel to a record track. So let's see how that's affected. If we go into our PFL screen here, we have um, the ability to route a, an ISO channel here, pre-fade to track or post-fade to track. Post-fade to track is really nice because it allows you to use these big chunky faders to um, adjust your ISO levels. So when you're set to also, um, auto PFL mode, it essentially follows whatever setting you've got for this ISO setting. 